All right, YouTube. So this video today um, is one that uh, I haven't seen too much talk about this. I've seen some people dabbling with the idea, but not really going into it. Um, but that let's just let's just get into it. Um, what are we talking about? We're talking about the Canon R1, uh, the new uh, flagship release from from Canon, um, and the sensor. Um, the Canon R1 um, is, I guess, the world's fastest stack sensor made to date so far without going global. Uh, global meaning global shutter. Um, <clears throat> so hear me out. So do a patent out of, uh, out of uh, Australia did a video. He's a birding photographer. And uh, in his video, he had the actual chart in there, which I am going to put up on the screen like now, um, so you can actually see. And uh, what you will see is the R1 um, actually uh, is um, at uh, 2.7 milliseconds. Um, the, a mechanical shutter is about three. So it's actually faster than a mechanical shutter. So. The Sony A9, which is a global shutter, um, has no lag whatsoever, so it's zero milliseconds. So it's like complete sensor readout, uh, you know, with no 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 time to spare there. Uh, <clears throat> the R1 is at 2.7, the mechanical is at three milliseconds. Um, the Nikon Z8, Z9 are at four. Um, Sony A1 is at 4.2, Canon R3, 5.5. Um, Sony A9 II, which is this camera, back from 2018, 19, somewhere around there, um, 6.2. The new Canon EOS R5 Mark II is actually at 6.3. So it's a huge difference uh, from the previous R5, which was at 16.3. So um, <clears throat> that's that's a significant drop. It's almost like a 66% speed bump uh, on just the Canon R5 going from uh, almost 16.3 to, to down to like 6.3. It's a huge, huge uh, improvement. But nonetheless, uh, some of these other stack sensors um, like uh, the Sony A9 II, the Canon R3, they were already pretty fast, and the, and obviously the Nikon, you know, Z8, Z9, but with the R1, <clears throat> it really broke the barriers, right, and the limits of stack sensor on how fast can they really get. Uh, who knows? Sony might make one that might be down to one millisecond. Um, would love to see it. That's going to be like sick. Um, but nonetheless, um, if you if you think about it, as fast as it is. You know, even at <clears throat> six milliseconds with the R5 II, I mean, if unless you're really like throwing that camera across the room, rolling shutter, is it really even worth talking about at this point? Um, these things are so fast. See, even with the original R5, I didn't have too much of an issue, but I guess if you're yanking a camera on, it could be a problem. Um, apparently, the R6 Mark II was at 14, uh, R6 Mark II is at 14 milliseconds. Um, and uh, the new Nikon Z63 with a semi stack sensor is only 0.1 millisecond faster, and the R6 Mark II is not even stacked. So, sensor technology is getting better and better for all of us, right? Now, <clears throat> Canon did make a statement piece here, um, and with the cross type AF that they have in there and the world's faster sensor now. Um, it, it is a winning combination uh, on on the sidelines there to be able to, you know, capture that image with with the least amount of issues, as good as a mechanical shutter. Actually, now it's even better than a mechanical shutter, almost as good as a global shutter. So, um, the next frontier, I think Sony has led the pack when it comes to global shutters, and I, I would like to see that being you know played out a little bit more, not just on Sony but other other cameras too. But what Canon did here, without going to a global shutter and having the penalties of a global shutter, of you know, dynamic range, all the other things, right? 
Um, in addition to also having a mechanical shutter in there, they still put a me mechanical shutter, even though the sensor can read faster than the mechanical shutter. That that speaks volumes. And, and you know, I would encourage all of you when you're looking at a flagship. So if you're looking at Nikon Z9, you look at Sony A1, you're looking at whatever, uh, you know, like the R1, for example, from Canon, the ES R1. Um, most professionals at that level, they don't look at just one camera. They look at the entire system. So what is the system? Obviously, the lenses matter, lighting matters, flash units, right? Uh, the R1 can do some crazy stuff and it's got a mechanical shutter and, you know, you can do some crazy things even with the electronic shutter in there, uh, just like the R3. So with that, leave your thoughts below. Um, but as it sits right now, uh, based on what I saw in Dwight's email, um, email his video, um, it clearly shows that this Canon EOS R1 sensor is the world's fastest stack sensor to date so far. And Sony, you're up next. So let's see what you can do because you make sensors for pretty much everyone else. Um, so it really, you know, the burden lies on your shoulder now. Are you going to give Nikon one at, that's 2.6 uh, or keep it for yourself? Uh, or you might just go out global uh, moving forward uh, and, and no more stack sensors as well. So with that, you guys leave your comment below. That's sort of my take on it. Not a very long video, but to the point. Um, and, and, and a great job done by Canon engineers here. Um, I am still waiting to see the dynamic range performance, uh, you know, and, and things like that from photons to photos when it comes out. And once it comes out, we'll actually bring it to you. So like, subscribe, be nice to each other, go out there, create your magic. And I will talk to you in the next one. Thank you.